I know a little bit about iguanas. I do know what they eat, how big they get. My ancestors used to hunt them. I know that these are important seed dispersers. What I really wanted to, to learn about was how they um, acted in their own natural environment. First time I ever saw an iguana in the Bahamas was in June 1993, I'll never forget it. We pulled up to the beach and within three minutes of, of landing on the beach, a big iguana came out from underneath the palm tree and uh, lumbered up right, right to us. I was completely hooked. Most of the focus in the Bahamas tends to be on the marine habitats and the wetlands and the birds. The reptiles have not had such a good attention paid to them. Rock iguanas evolved in the absence of natural predators and competitors. They were thriving until the arrival of settlers with their domestic animals. With the continued development of the islands, the iguanas lose more and more of their habitat. Today, rock iguanas are among the most endangered lizards in the world. In 1994, the Shedd Aquarium became active in iguana conservation. We've done natural history studies over the years which have led directly to the, the expansion of national parks. We've published action plans. We do education programs. We bring students out, um, both in the Bahamas, but we also engage the, the public in North America by having citizen science come out and, and help us with the research. I wanted to come on this trip to see if this is what I would like to go into when I'm older being out in the field and catching and researching the iguanas, see if this is what I would like to do. I was a little nervous that um, I wasn't going to be gentle enough, but Chuck has been really good about um, teaching us how to do it the right way and being very respectful of the animal. When you see them close up, I was not prepared for just how beautiful the animal was. The islands where these iguanas uh, live are fairly inaccessible and remote. And so we've used our research vessel, the Coral Reef too, as a wonderful platform to stage our, our um, investigations. And the citizen scientists coming aboard and the enthusiasm since 1998 has been amazing. Conservation doesn't happen overnight. And the Shedd Aquarium's commitment over the past almost 20 years of doing iguana conservation in the Bahamas has really provided us with a trusted voice to the government officials and non-government entities um, to really make an impact. And we should protect our iguanas so they could become more dense and so it could be enjoyed by many more. Well, I really have fallen in love with these iguanas. They're more fascinating and more beautiful than I even imagined. My goal is that everyone, my daughter and her children, get to still experience this beauty. So ultimately, I think what Shedd Aquarium is doing to help facilitate that um, really is, is, I'm not doing it for me anymore. I'm doing it for future generations.